So it's fitness week at Mind Valley, and I am pissed off this week. Let me tell you why. Came across this article in the New York Times. This is from just a couple of weeks ago. Let me tell you what it says. It says, in Asia's fattest country, nutritionists take money from food giants. Know what is Asia's fattest country? It's Malaysia. I'm Malaysian. I'm filming this in Malaysia. Malaysia is where Mind Valley HQ is based, and I grew up in this country. And as I read that article, I felt sick. Sick because what the New York Times exposed is how government officials in Malaysia take money from food giants like Nestle and then are swayed to take what is essentially crap and market it as healthy food. I want to show you something and some of you in certain parts of Europe might be familiar with this brand from Nestle. It's called Milo. Look at the box. It shows a guy doing Taekwondo which is a martial art. It's very popular in Malaysia. I studied Taekwondo as a child. Now the thing is I was trained as a kid in Malaysia to take two to three glasses of Milo every single day because of advertising that said this made me better at sports. Then I read that article and I decided, wow, surely Milo can't be that bad. So I looked at the ingredient list. Let me show you something. This is a can of Milo and everything below this blue line, 40% of this can is nothing but pure sugar. In Malaysia, this is considered healthy. I wouldn't feed Milo to my child as a, as a recreational drink. It's 40% sugar. But the article in the New York Times talks about some even more disturbing stuff. This is honey stars, right? Nestle paid the government hundreds of thousands of dollars to advise them on nutrition. As a result, honey stars, which is one of the highest sugar content of any cereal, gets a red sticker from the government from the health body of Malaysia saying this is a healthy choice product. Again, this is the problem in the world today, guys. Big pharma and food companies are not incentivized to make you feel healthier. They're incentivized to keep you sick. They're incentivized to keep you pumping your body with sugar because sugar makes you hungrier, so you buy more of their poisonous <laughs> Now, this isn't just a unique problem to Malaysia. If you're in Europe, you may have heard the controversy with Nutella. Recently, people had to sue the Italian company, Ferrero, that makes Nutella because they were positioning Nut Nutella, which is essentially palm oil and sugar with a little bit of chocolate. They were positioning it as a breakfast food that is healthy because apparently it contains a tiny percentage of milk, which we also now know is completely unnecessary to the human biology. Now, if you're American, it's, you're not off the hook as well. I went to school in America. I was a teenager in America during my college years. And as a 19 and 20 and 21 year old, before I would rush off to classes, I would eat something called Pop-Tarts, right? Because I watched television and I was told that Pop-Tarts was a healthy breakfast choice because apparently it contained fruit. Well, what they didn't say is it contained artificial fruit and Pop-Tart was nothing more than sugar and carbs. But I, as a college kid, thought that this was actually healthy. What we want to do in Mind Valley is help fix that. So this is why this week on Mind Valley, we're releasing my masterclass with Eric Edmeads uh, of WildFit. You see, Eric and I believe that we want to help get rid of this horrible lie. And in this masterclass, we teach you how to rewire your brain to change your relationship with food. Because get this, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to have a healthy BMI, if you're trying to expand your longevity, exercise is great, but 95% of your body shape has to do with the food you eat. But we've been brainwashed and conditioned to spend money on what is essentially poison. Now, let's fix that. We can unbrainwash you to help you eat food that's actually healthier for your body. And I just want to encourage you guys to check out this masterclass. I'm, um, as I was doing research on this, this this week, I just kept getting increasingly disturbed by what I read. Can't wait to see you guys in the program.